this session, we're going to look at using a screen that is not able to fit onto the magnetized stage, so it would not have the ferrous material in the back of the screen. If you look at the machine here when you open the door, we can achieve this by using the low fluorescent glass stage. When you place our screen into the instrument, it's now going to be very important that we remember the dimensions that we're going to use to set up in the control software. So in this case, I'm going to go from 2 to 9, and I'm going to go from A to J. The screens, sometimes I find in the lab, are starting to curl up, and they're not entirely flat. So you have a couple of options. So we have this membrane weight, which we normally use for our low fluorescent membranes. But here we can use this to weigh down our storage phosphor screen. If you have a really large storage phosphor screen, we also have this beige plate for doing the digitization, but we can use this to actually weigh down the large storage phosphor screens if they're actually using those with the instrument. In this case, we're just going to set it up like so. We're going to slide this to the top. Again, make sure that you see the apex of the triangle and we know it's locked into place. Then we're going to take the lid, lock that in the machine, and now we're just going to set up as we normally would, just using that phosphor module to set up for a storage phosphor scan.